Hey guys, it's me Parker. Welcome to my channel. This is going to be a Sagittarius reading and I am gearing these for the new moon um, intended to be messages related to the new moon in Aquarius happening today. My apologies, a little late getting these out, um, but I am getting back into the rhythm of posting all 12 signs weekly um, again. So yeah, um, Sagittarius is last but not least. Um, I'm going to reference astrology. Like I said, these uh, readings are intended to be new moon messages for the new moon uh, occurring today in Aquarius. But if you're watching this in the future, it still could be your energy. Um, just take it as it resonates. And if it doesn't, then don't. <laughs> don't claim energy that's not yours. But energy doesn't relate to time that way, really. So um, could... Resonate years in the future. That's happened to me many times. Sagittarius. Messages for the highest good of Saggies. I am a Sag rising, so I vibe with y'all. Um, Saggies. Messages for my sages, please. What would Spirit like to know about Sagittari messages for Sagittarius? For the full moon in Aquarius, we'll do... Three more shuffles. Oh, I love that card. I've never had it come out for anyone in a reading, like actually come out before. It's a hard energy to attain and sustain. Black egg. Whoa. <laughs> Truth. Whoa, that's the mind. Uh, mental space. We'll get more. This is the throat chakra. Communication, big time. Uh, truth, uh, speaking your truth, owning your truth, the truth. Uh, that's pretty fully loaded card to come right out like that. So yeah, we'll look into that. A truth, your truth, a truth, someone else's truth, divine truth. <laughs> we'll see. Sagis. Whoa, that sea serpent keeps showing. Um, that's sacral energy. Um, anything else for Saggy? Just one or two more, please, for Sagittarius for the new moon. Okay, butterfly. Whoa! Ah, firefly. Ah. This has been coming out for a lot of people, too. Um, the firefly is an energy. Whoa! Holy shit, man. That's crazy. Fire energy. This is like a hyper-attentive energy on the bottom. Um, this is like a nervous system response. It's like scared of its own shadow. Like it's scared of everything. Um, very high nervous system response. Uh, fight or flight mode on the rabbit. Very tense energy. But this is like hyper aware. Hyper aware. Um, this is a card of lessons. Uh, fire energy. It's a mentor. I call it my sensei card. It's a student of life. A truth with that black egg. An actual mentor or guide um, or teacher. Um, hyper aware is the lizard. It's all about a sixth sense. It like perceives things on its rock and then it like flees, right? Whoa, the energy on the bottom. Okay, uh, there's a lot underlying with this and with black egg and butterfly. I'm not surprised at all. These three feel like one energy here. Uh, nightingale, that's like, look at the magnitude of the truth coming out of the throat of that nightingale. Again, throat chakra truth, black egg. Look at the magnitude of that. It's so bright. It's shining so bright, element of air, Aquarius, um, that it's like, I always get this vibe off this card, like this nightingale is actually standing on top of earth, and then like it's in outer space, and it's like emitting its own sunlight. Like it is a sun, like its truth is that big. Um, I get an outer space vibe from that. It's like massive truth with that black egg. And then we have vulture and a firefly. Um, this may be very quick. This is like a transformational energy, but we'll get into that in a second. Um, vulture is like a stripping energy, like a purging, but it's more than that. It's uh, more air. So an air, 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 air. So this is just screaming the new moon in Aquarius to me, which is an air spine. Air, <laughs> air spine. Air sign, despite what people think as the water bearer, um, it is actually the oldest air sign. That's why it's the water bearer, because um, air signs are intellectually based. They can quite often struggle with emotion. 
um, Aquarius is wise enough that they can bear the water. They can hold the water and maintain control over over it, right? Um, anyway, tangent. Vulture is more, more than that. Um, it's a cleansing energy. So think of the vulture as an animal. Uh, the vulture eats that which other animals will not eat. It's a cleansing. It's a stripping. It's an energetic cleansing energy. Um, in terms of, like, it's a purification, right? The vulture comes in. It picks all the dead um, bits away. And then what others will not eat, the rotten things, as you know, you could say, um, the things rotting, um, decaying energetically, purifying it and leaving the bones clean, right? And then Firefly, um, just give me two seconds, you guys. I'm just going to grab my phone charger because my phone um, just like <laughs> went, uh... sorry, don't mind me. <laughs> Yes, I'm wearing pajama pants, by the way. <laughs> I, uh, as soon as I get home, I rock my pajama pants. And you can't typically see it on my readings, but, like, whatever. Um, yeah, and then the firefly is, like, a very bright burst of energy with that truth and that nightingale. Whoa. Um, uh, yeah, firefly energy, that's crazy. Um, it's, like, an opportunity, but it's not sustained, right? Like, See how the truth emanating from that nightingale is like its own sun there? Like, how crazy is that, right? Massive. That's sustained truth, right? This is like, like it's like a hot shot burst of energy and then it's gone again, right? So it's an opportunity or a major truth coming out. It's associated with this purge and cleansing energy. That's wild. Um, we'll see what comes out with that black egg, but then we have butterfly uh, we kind of all know what butterflies represent spiritually. It's transformation, right? Um, goes within um, as a caterpillar, hibernates, comes out as a butterfly. That's massive transformation with this truth. Could be your own personal truth here. Wild. Okay, so let's look at the black egg. Because that seems to be tied in with this butterfly. It's almost like this energetic shifting of truth happens because again this is unsustained right and then the butterfly emerges sustaining this energy of truth okay let's look at the black egg yeah sorry i just i wanted to plug my phone in um because a couple times my phone has gone down like in battery really low and it corrupted a couple of my videos and made them unpostable um, so I didn't want to scrap the entire reading if I don't have to death. Whoa, talk about transformation here. Crazy. What is the black egg for my Sagis? What is that? Queen of Wands. That's you guys. Woo. What is the black egg? That's intense with that nightingale energy. Massive truth. Massive, massive truth. Massive truth. Whoa. There's your major on the bottom. Whoa, that's crazy. This could be an awakening or an ascension for some of you. Or a truth that is so freaking undeniable that it strips away parts of your environment, your being, um, your beliefs, your truth, how you communicate your truth, who you are as a person with that butterfly. <laughs> I'm like, tell me about truth. The freaking Ace of Swords, like, comes out, like, to put it into context, I'm gonna read the Ace of Swords from, I really like the Tattoo Tarot's description of all the, the cards. <laughs> wow. Truth. It's the card, it's the card of truth, literally, in Tarot. Um, truth, <laughs> the first word. <laughs> Courage, vision, insight, power triumph accomplishment with that butterfly energy that's awesome irresistible force with that sustained nightingale energy cutting through to the heart of the matter on a roll needed change with that butterfly whoa crazy um this is a very intangible reading whoa crazy oh there's this like tower moment, that firefly with the Queen of Swords. I'm seeing that as the new moon energy itself actually assisting with this. For whoever this is for, 
There's a two of cups. That's soul connections, work, love, friend. Otherwise, it's soul contracts. Um, oh, no. I think my phone's going to go crazy. It does that sometimes. Um, it'll get, like, a million notifications at once. I'm just going to turn it off. <laughs> that's the second reading in a row that my freaking... Um, reading got interrupted by something annoying. Sorry. It's got, like, no memory on it, so it'll get, like, a million downloads at once. Whoa, for some of you, this is just, like, straight up energetic downloads. But, yeah, soul contracts here. Um, there's, like, decisions to walk away here or towards something. Um, community, this is a walking away energy, the Eight of Cups. This is decisions or juggling. Um, out of balance, but this is balance, your major arcana, something coming into major balance with that clarity and truth, you may be needing to speak a truth to so people you have soul connections with here, big time, because of this butterfly energy, it's just not sustainable anymore, well, I'm getting super lightheaded now, that happened in the Aquarius reading as well, wow, tell me about the Ace of Swords for Sag, Please, nine of cups, eight, nine. That's your personal wish fulfillment. Amazing. The fool. I love it. <laughs> With that butterfly. A new, a new, right? Decorated. I just heard decorated. Wow. Really standing in your truth here. Owning it. Um, Kate, tell me about the ace of swords. With the black egg. Whoa. <laughs> That's intense. Whoa. Two of wands. That's too many. I'm not taking all those. Six of Swords. Ace of Swords. This could be just like a massive outpouring of your truth here. Judgment. Like, whoa, judgment day, judgment day. That's spirit, too. Wow. Why the Ace of Swords? Can we get something? Whoa, this may come by way of meditation. This is the card of meditation. Um, and gaining clarity through meditation and healing. This is the butterfly in its cocoon. It's literally a person laying in meditation and they're um, grasping the Ace of Swords, the truth, right? That they're gaining through this taking a moment to, to transform. Taking a moment to transform here. Wow. Okay, the butterfly process. That's just the butterfly. Wow. Anything else about this Ace of Swords uh, that can make this more relatable? Because it's just very, very personal here, a new perspective. This is like a friend card too. Wow. Very stable. Stable, independent. Um, this can be um, like a friend. Communication can also be a new way of seeing things. Again, I'm getting like you're, you're shifting with this butterfly energy. It's like... Uh, with communicating your truth here, uh, there's a certain level of a new perspective that's coming in here where it's with that vulture energy, it could be purely energetic, but things are falling away or you're not in resonance anymore with um, things you used to vibe with. Um, like, yeah, here's you with that, um, that decision energy, right? Two wands that moving into that nine of cups wish fulfillment, like the stable, the butterfly, right? Once it hatches out, um, this is like coming out. This indicates a decision between, it's like between two paths, right? But this doesn't feel very voluntary. And the two of wands is usually quite a vol voluntary energy. But again, it's just like between becoming the butterfly and the being the caterpillar, becoming the butterfly. That's what I'm seeing this as. The eight of wands is kind of like before like heading into it always goes to the 10 which is emotional um, maturity and fulfillment right usually shared with other people with those two of cups um, but it's also a walking away energy and then there's this here font this is major for Taurus this is like my right my my truth um, my truth this is your morals your standards your belief systems your religion um, your it can be institutions or con contracts but I'm just seeing it as your truth here it can be your truth it can be a card of your truth with that and that's your cup your ace of cups right what came out well, the page of cups very honest um very honest very youthful very youthful fresh fresh with that butterfly um decorated energy coming out very fresh and rejuvenated and healed after this 
two of swords. Again, that's like a dis it's like twos, right? It's like the ace of swords is what's resulting, but this is like a stalemate energy or being of two minds of something. Again, it feels like you guys are in a process right now where this doesn't really line up with you anymore, but you're not quite the butterfly yet. Um, that would be this energy, and that's what's being sorted out with the four of swords there. But this is like emerging very fresh and stable. Um, wow, well, okay. Why the two of swords? Tell me about the two and four of swords. But again, through this butterfly, because this like literally, I'm going to read the four of swords to you as well, um, is the card of the butterfly. Like if the butterfly were a card in tarot, it would be, it'd be probably like death if it were major, but like in terms of like a, a like a, a healing or like resting before becoming the butterfly, it's like this, right? Mental security, retreat, rest, peace, good organization of ideas. That's really indicated here too. There is a message here about holding off on voicing your ideas. Here, uh, the nightingale can speak of that with that big voice, right? Um, innovation. It shines very bright for others to see. Um, this is a card of new perspectives and new ideas as well. Just saying, um, practical spirit. Um on the shadow end, limitations of rational thought and scientific rigidity. Um, this feels like a birth, like stepping into new ideas. Um, for some of you, it's very energetic, this Ace of Swords clarity with temperance and the black egg there. This truth is like with that meditative energy, it's like purely energetic or like insight backed. But for some of you, this is like... Um, Taking a rest um, to fully form your ideas and perspectives here before you emerge all decorated and fresh and look at me, right? Anything else about this Four of Swords, uh, Page of Cups energy? Wow, Knight of Wands, there you are. <laughs> King, of, King of Coins, uh, Queen of Wands, oh wow, the Chariot. Wow, okay. A lot of Cancerian energy that just came out. You can have Cancer in your chart. You're dealing with a Cancer. Here's a masculine and feminine energy this could just all be you this is very committed very successful riding home to victory very dead this is like the butterfly like even look at the imagery that's like totally the butterfly coming out of the cocoon there it even in it even indicates travel and motion right um interesting okay um uh queen of wands that's your court card there king of coins i mean this could definitely be communicating to a king of pentacles, but I see that as like practically grounding um, your new ideas here and your truth and being very stable in that and being very confident in that as the queen of wands. Um, very boss ass energy. He manages the physical realm and she manages like the, the person factor, like the charisma, the magic behind it, the getting it done with the gumption end of things. Um, this is like in motion. Um, Knight of Wands, that is the Saggy, the Saggy court card, um, you know, um, moving, um, fast movement. Okay, I haven't seen what came out yet. Oh, wow, there it is. <laughs> moving to that nine, that's you moving to your personal wish fulfillment here through this truth process. Um, that's personal wish fulfillment, eight to the nine, and like I said, it always goes to the ten. Um, moving into personal satisfaction, um, emotional security, that this can be a card of overindulgence in the sense that you feel so good. And again, like he's all beautifully dressed, like it's a card, it can be a card of overindulgence because you have such an abundance of emotional um, security or happiness or success or, um, you know, look how peaceful and content that butterfly dude is. You know, and he's even got the black and blue and red. Wow, that's totally you guys. And then there's your major arcana temperance. Balanced, healed from both decks. I like it. Okay, so let's look at the butterfly. <laughs> I think it all came out already, but we will look at the butterfly. Wow, truth, black cake, the sort of truth. Okay, there it is. Four of swords, can't make this shit up. That is the card of butterfly. The process of becoming one. Meditation may really help. Whoa. Ace of Wands. Whoa. Very passionate. Very confident. 
I'm getting like CEO vibes from some of you guys. <laughs> As I say, the Eight of Pentacles. I didn't see it. It hadn't. It flipped. They all flipped out upside down. There's two more. Um, that's like hard work, dedication, burning the midnight oil, making shit happen. What did I say about that King of Pentacles? Practically grounding these new ideas, putting them to work. For some of you, this is the planning stages of like a creative endeavor, um, some kind of endeavor here or transformation. You're forming a new idea. You're forming a new perspective. Um, big time here, but that's a lot of work. That's focus. That's determination. That's hard work. What else came out? Whoa, <laughs> seven of pentacles after. Okay, so this is can be, um, there's timing indicated here too. Whoa, I just felt energy all through my masculine side, which is action, right? Um, this is like hanging back, choosing. It's like, okay, when, when we are talking about the pentacles cycle, right? It starts with the one ends in the 10. The one is like a seed, an idea, a page presenting an idea, right? Um, when you get to the seven, it's like you've, you've, um, attained a level of success or reciprocation over adversity or loss, um, lack. Um, and then now you're evaluating the position that you sit in, what you have invested in. Is this like the six that precedes it is a reciprocal giving and taking energy, but, um, you know, if a situation's non-reciprocal or out of balance, then it progresses into the seven where it's like, is what I'm, or if it is balanced, it just moves to the seven and it's like, okay, I'm more than halfway through the pentacles cycle now. Um, the eight of pentacles is putting a lot of hard work and dedication and focus into something so that it matures to the 10, which is the ultimate maturation of this. It's like legacy, like long standing, tangible things like, um, a home, a business, a family that you built, um, things like that, that have been invested. This is time as well. So this is like in this butterfly, um, truth coming about, um, dead, letting dead things wither away. This is like the card of what am I investing in, right? A pause, that butterfly energy, and then the wheel turning forward when that change in perspective or that planning happens, um, or that shifting of, um, being able to move into that truth energy with the truth or speak it. Um, maybe the timing is right for some of you. Um, but this is really taking a step back with that, that butterfly process to evaluate what you're going to put that hard work and dedication into. Um, and then this is like, it's switching. That's the butterfly emerging the wheel of fortune turneth, right? That's the butterfly coming out with this very awesome, um, putting the work in energy. Crazy. Awesome. Okay. So let's see what wants to come out, um, on the bottom seven of wands again. <laughs> yeah. There's, uh, this page of cups. That's you guys here, right? Um, the knight moving forward into this legacy energy. Queen to the king of pentacles. Building to collaborate. Oh, with that six of pentacles underneath. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten of pentacles. A major legacy at, at play here. Building it from the ground up. Collaborating or planning. This can be planning to build a legacy as well. And then this is like guarding off. Being defensive of your new beginning here. Um, for some of you, you're waiting to perfect your ideas here before you speak them out loud. Um, nine of pentacles with this, like that's what this page is doing, right? But very refreshed, strong in their energy. Okay, um, so let's get anything else about this butterfly. Wow, very reciprocal though. Give and take. Tell me about the wheel with the butterfly and this eight of pentacles spirit. I love it. Whoa, queen of wands, seven of cups. Wow, that's having a lot of options. That's having a lot of options. Um, or that can be a manifestational energy as well. Um, like it can be like fantasy. This is kind of with this queen of wands energy that's coming out underneath with this ability to ground this. This is like able to ground anything you want to, to make any option you want happen. 
and be successful in it with the chariots underneath that. Whoa, my camera's glitching out big time. Wow, that's like, I can make any of that energy right there. There's you, the Queen of Wands again. This energy is I can make anything I want happen. Anything. Anything I want. Any option in the cloud can be mine. Wow, crazy. That's awesome. I love it. Whoa, my phone is like super, super glitching out now. It's like, can't handle energy. <laughs> oh my God. Okay, uh, seven of cups with the queen of wands and this butterfly energy. Oh my gosh. Some of you are holding back for timing or clarity here or formulating. Yeah, this is just like, this is another held back energy. Um, two fours, stability. Um, this is like holding on, holding back, being stingy, um, right? And then this is like breaking out the butterfly energy, right? Um, so for some of you, uh, this truth, there's justice and balance with that page of cups again, <laughs> right? Uh, which is very honest and refreshing energy, right? With that butterfly, um, getting really in touch with your personal truth here. That is the sort of truth, justice, right? Justice. <laughs> what is right to me with that Hierophant energy? This can be holding back, but you know what it is when it's the opposite, right? It's bursting forward like the butterfly. Wow, that's awesome. Because in the opposite energy, um, it would be letting go, like breaking out like the butterfly with the fool. That's massive. Super successful, looking great, owning it. All right, so till next time, take care.